All right. Good afternoon to all. Wow. Thank you for coming here and spending this hour with me. Let me see who is here, if I recognize any names. Indeed, I do. Thank you for coming in. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So S&P is hitting 5112 uh, <laughs> toward the end of the day. Uh, the Nasdaq came to uh, 109.50. Uh, 109 against the 115 that we spoke about in the room. So um, the, the Nasdaq misses by five and a half points. Anyway, I need to focus here. Um, we are here to talk about uh, Thunderzilla. So um, very excited. So this system, and I must say this first, uh, because in this webinar, there will not be any questions that ask me to show settings. And that is because I changed nothing, zero, on any of the charts that are loaded Thunderzilla on. And I talking um, oil, YM, NASDAQ, and S&P, and the Russell, and the Russell as well. So no settings were changed out of the box, load to the chart, and there you go. Before we start, I should introduce myself. I'm sorry, I'm all excited. Um, so my name is James Buckman. I've been working with Ninzaco since August of uh, 2023. I've been trading for uh, 16 years. It says uh, 15. I've not been trading for, uh, for 16 years after retiring from New York City Department of Education. Some years back, I had the good fortune of working with some phenomenal traders um, from the financial uh, district in Manhattan. And uh, yeah, made the transition to electronic trading, uh, created my own Discord group a little over a year ago, uh, started with um, 11 people, out of whom actually most are still with me, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you, guys. Um, and now after from 11, the server now has over 300. So, uh, yeah, just a great journey, a great trading journey. So um, partnered up with Ninzaco uh, because they make, they make quality products, uh, truly quality products, reasonable prices. And um, it's it's been a nice ride uh, promoting their systems, uh, their their indicators, and uh, well, Thunderzilla is is something special. Um, as I said, for one reason is if you watched any of my webinars, my videos, you know I constantly am talking about having to adjust settings, uh, and I believe in that. Uh, you need to adjust settings to make your system or your indicator most effective. Um, I am not saying that you cannot make the charts that I'm going to show you more effective if you adjust some settings. You probably could. The amazing thing is that the results are amazing without adjusting anything. That's <laughs> that's the amazing part. Um, as always, in my webinar, I'm going to show you live results trading a funded prop account. I do not do market replay. I do not do SIM accounts. I do not do evaluation accounts because, well, evaluation accounts now are $5 each or whatever. Um, so there is no skin in the game. If, if I'm going to be promoting a product, I'm going to have skin in the game. Um, if I cannot make something work for me, I am not going to be promoting it for you. So I will be showing live charts, live results, <clears throat> from today. Anyway, um, I think that's it. Let's get into it. All right. So um, traders, we have so many problems, man. We have problems. We have a lot of problems. Um, if we keep the emotional aspect of it aside for, because it's a different webinar, <laughs> the psychology, let's put that aside. Uh, what what some of our obstacles uh, well, definitely identifying trading opportunities, or to be more specific, 
identifying high probability trading opportunities. Uh, and Ninzako comes up with the system called Thunderzilla. Now, those of you who are, are observant, you might see a few systems that are combined into this one. Is, I have no proof. <laughs> I'm not a coding guy. I'm not a programmer. Uh, but when I looked at it, I began to recognize best features, best features of a number of products being put together to come up with this ultimate um, system. So we're going to be talking about um, different aspects of, of the system, uh, the benefits, and of course, we're going to have an amazing deal, uh, but that's toward the end of the presentation, uh, because if some of you leave, I'm going to suspect that maybe you came here for the deal and not to listen to me talk, and I would just get insulted. So uh, we're going to keep this uh, to the end of the presentation. And of course, you're going to be demonstrating this product using live charts from today. I'm not cherry picking anything. I never show you charts from six days ago on a day that happened to be a really good day. I'm showing you today, what happened today, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, so, so you know, we need an edge, right? So, so what does it mean to trade without an edge? Let me show you what does it mean to trade, kind of a sneak preview, if you will, okay? A bit early, but um, sneak preview, okay. Uh, this is, uh, I think, the YM. Okay, it doesn't matter. This is the YM. This is 9.30 um, Eastern time. Bit session open. What do you do here? Right? So so, so it's like this here. Like, what what do you do here? Okay, so the market is moving. What do you do? It looks like we're going up. So we want to buy. Is this what we want to do? We want to buy? Uh, no, we want to sell. So, so um, again, I, I understand, and we're going to go into it a bit later. I, I'm just excited um, that uh, this is out-of-the-box setting. This is nothing I kind of customized to make it look like this. No, this is out-of-the-box, put on your chart. There you go. Um, so this is trading with an edge. So again, trading without an edge, that's the the 97%. Trading without an edge, uh, trading with an edge. Big difference. Big difference. Okay, we're going to go into this a bit later. So, having an edge that is clear, um, being able to execute that edge, which means you need to be able to understand it. Uh, an edge is meaningless if you cannot trade it and or understand it. That's Renzilla. So now this system, and again, we'll see this on live charts, uh, but you're going to be surprised to see that uh, in this case, live charts look very similar to the, um, I guess I'm going to call them promotion charts, right? Because in promotion charts, they want to show you kind of a best case scenario as well. You're going to see life charts that look exactly like this, pretty much. Um, so uh, what's amazing about this system, and again, it's I think it's a combination of a few things in one, uh, that it obviously identifies a trend. Um, it waits for a pullback to give you, let's say, a buy signal in the case of a long, in, in case of a bullish uh, trend. But it also has a momentum, and we're going to see this in live charts. You see this? That this is a momentum. So not only do you have a buy signal, uh, but you see that the momentum is up. It just increases the probability of this being a winning trade. Uh, on top of that, it has this kind of a symbol. And what this means is the move is probably overdone, uh, take some profit. You see it also here and here and here. Um, now, if you are a super aggressive trader, um, you might want to actually reverse and go short. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. That's not me. Uh, but I will show you charts from today where it's amazing. Um, these don't repaint, by the way. None of this repaints. It's not like 
you know, after the fact, you refresh the chart, voila, all of a sudden you have different signals. No, no, no. Everything, nothing repaints. All these stay. And you're going to see when it says that it's overdone, seven, eight out of ten times, it's overdone. And there is a move uh, the other way. Um, at least a small move in our first, if, if that's what you're into. Again, that's not me, but uh, some people are more of a contrarians, let's say. They, they like to kind of trade against the trend. Well, there you go. Um, so it's three things. It is a trend. It is a pullback for an official signal. It's a momentum, uh, long or short. This is a short momentum. This is a long momentum. And it's a signal that tells you maybe things are overdone a little bit in this direction. And so um, you might want to take profit or, again, if you're wild and crazy, uh, actually take the opposing uh, trade to the opposing direction. Um, but yeah, I just forgot to mention, I will uh, try to answer all the questions when I'm done. Okay, because otherwise my ADD is kicking in. I don't remember what I did. I start answering questions. I lose track of where I am. So let me finish the presentation. I promise um, I'm going to get to everything. Okay, uh, so Ninza Cole loves backtesting. A lot of people love backtesting. I happen to love forward testing. Uh, that's what I go by. But uh, the backtesting is very solid. This is on the NASDAQ. And there is a video... Uh, right here. This is the video on their channel that goes specific into specifics, uh, the different uh, criteria used, uh, you know, bar types and whatnot. Um, again, I don't know much about that, but there is a video there for that. Uh, these are the results. So the results are obviously positive. Um, again, I think I think you can outperform that. Uh, to be honest with you especially if you're a big a bit selective uh meaning kind of like like what I do in the room where I kind of give direction as far as long bias to short bias but that's neither here nor there I think you can do better but these are the results that they have uh from back testing this is the s p uh, results here again everything looks positive Wait till you see the charts. You're going to understand why it's positive. Here is the YM. Again, very solid. And, and you know what? Like um, most most of the time, I don't really trust backtesting. Uh, but in, in this case, I completely believe it. If anything, it, it looks to me like it, it could be better uh, than this. And, and again, once you see the real-time charts from today, which by the way, today was not necessarily the easiest day to trade, um, especially the NASDAQ. Um, it was not the easiest day to trade. Oil too, kind of really sideways oil was today, but um, uh, still, even, you know, even sideways markets, as you will see a bit later, uh, the system can handle it. Okay, so definitely, you know, who is it for? Definitely, if you are a trend follower, this system is beautiful. Um, if you're contrarian, you could trade. And again, I'm going to show you. Uh, you could trade uh, counter trend moves because the system lets you know when things get overdone. Um, and then it's up to you if you decide to take um, against the trend uh, kind of trade. Uh, it is based on on price action anyway. You can use it for swing trading. That would depend probably on your bar size. Uh, today, I focused only on scalping. Uh, again, please understand, I, I have a live room I'm running. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a few other trading-related things. So uh, for me, to hold a position is not always possible. Um, and, and I think most people here anyway are um, are scalpers more than... Uh, swing traders. I think most people here are. So um, I used uh, scalping for today, but you could use it day trading, swing trading. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So that's the momentum I was talking about. This, this system has a way of identifying momentum. So not only trend, um, but trend along with momentum to confirm that the trend is really a solid trend. And again, 
I know that most of you are not new to trading, uh, but trading is all about probability. So, so when I think when I say things like it, it's momentum that lets you know the strength of the trend, it's it's not that it's never wrong, uh, but it's more right than it is wrong, way more right than it is wrong, and and that's what successful trading is all about. And you know, try to be on the right side uh, more times then you are on the wrong side and and that's uh, you know that's going to make you a successful trader so uh again um the main thing here as far as the official trade is the trend followed by a retracement but there is a momentum that if a trend is strong enough very often would come before the official signal it just lets you know it, it's a real move the move is going to go higher um and so you have the momentum and you have the pullback trade long um then you have an overdone you see this coming down overdone again you, you you'll see these um on live charts overdone price comes up uh then here again this is a momentum long and price goes up, followed by the official uh, signal. So, again, three main components, trend, pullback uh, for an official trade, but the momentum that lets you know that the trend is a solid trend. Uh, these are the overdone signals here. As far as, as the high, oh no, I'm sorry. This is sorry. Um, your stops, your, your stops would go kind of where this line is. Um, and again, it's not that you have to do it like this. This is a suggestion from from Ninzico, and it's a good one. I mean, they they just combined um, kind of a stop loss area uh, to minimize when things move against you, which of course sometimes they will, uh, to, to minimize the loss controlling risk. Very important. So this is built in. So you, so you know exactly uh, where the stops are. It's um, not Nothing is left to chance. They thought of everything. Um, so yeah, again, more examples of, in this case, a sell, uh, this case, a buy. Again, identifying a trend first, and then the pullbacks. Now, I, I don't know if these uh, settings were customized or not. Again, everything I'm going to show you are going to be out of the box, unchanged by me at all. So, um, yeah. Uh, more example of momentum. Momentum up, momentum down. Uh, all right, so um, different components. I think we spoke about the components already. We, we got the pullback for signals. We have the momentum to confirm the trend. And, and of course, we have the trend itself. Uh, I think we're just repeating ourselves. I want to show you the charts. Can, can I get to the charts? Is it OK? I, I want to get to the charts. I'm, I'm, OK, let me show you the charts. That's what we want to see. We'll, we'll talk about everything as we are watching the chart. So what should we say? I want to start with something not so great. Uh, crude. Uh, all right. So first of all, let me just make sure. You guys can see the chart, right? Yeah, you should be able to see the chart. OK, I'm, go I'm going to make this bigger. But first of all, so you see, this is a PA account. Again, I'm not showing SIM, no market replay, no evaluation, no nonsense. This is the uh, the account used today to trade different signals of Thunderzilla. But I'll give you um, full disclosure. Uh, most of this came from the NASDAQ and the YM. Uh, just full disclosure. Um, I think I did take one trade in oil. I don't exactly remember. Uh, but it was mostly from uh, oil was very choppy, very difficult. And again, I just want to make the point. Um, I'm not just showing you perfect charts that I worked on 10 minutes before, right? This is what I worked on. This is the brick size that I came into today prepared to trade. Um, this is real time. 
not changing anything as opposed to me making stuff up and, and showing you only the most perfect charts. I, I'm going to show you everything. So uh, this is crude, and crude was just tough. As you can see, like, okay, so this is before the market. So if, if you want to trade before the market, there were two uh, long signals here. Again, if you're looking for a quick scalp, which is all I was doing, this was enough. Uh, but after 9 a.m., after the market opened, there was nothing until here, which was a winning trade. But take a look, though. Again, you see this signal. Uh, this means overdone on a downside. So, uh, so again, I'm not saying necessarily to take it long, but it's interesting. It's interesting. Overdone on the upside, here overdone. I'm sorry, on the downside, here overdone on the upside. This one was a bit premature. Uh, but here, overdone on the upside, here, and this is complete chop, overdone on the downside, overdone on the upside, you see, I mean, it's like, and, and it's complete chop, no signal, I mean, it was just terrible, no signal until here, this is enough for a scalp, for sure, for sure, um, then we have overdone on the upside, but no, uh, no short, no official short trade, no official long trade. Now, again, if I was to play with settings, could I have made it better? Probably. Probably. Uh, but the point is, nothing was touched. So at worst, you had this trade. Um, otherwise, uh, it, it's just, uh, well, then there was a short. Toward the end of the day, though, you know, so... Uh, when you take a look at this, just how choppy and miserable crude was today, look at this. This is the session. Can you think of a more ugly chart than this? And I think the most impressive thing here, again, keep in mind, no settings have changed. The most impressive thing here is that this is a winning scalping trade for sure. This is a winning scalping trade for sure. And then there is nothing in between nothing so an ugly chart yes a losing chart no no um and how it's able to look i mean calling the high here over down on the high side calling it a couple of premature before but this one calling the high all the way down and here it's calling over down on the downside for the price to come up so um these help tremendously it's just that if a market is ugly and today crude was just ugly. Uh, there is nothing we can do about it. And that's just an ugly chart. So that's crude. I want to show something else ugly. What was Russell? Because uh, there was always someone who was asking me about the Russell. Um, I did not trade the Russell uh, here on this chart. Let me just grab it uh, here. Uh, so the Russell, again, pre-market, you see beautiful signals. Um, again, here is the momentum right here. You see this? This is the momentum up for continuing higher. Here it says overdone. Um, then here is the market open over here. Uh, and uh, short immediately out of the gate. Let me make this a bit bigger. Okay. So uh, this is the market open, 9.30. Here is the short. Enough for a scalp, for sure. I did not trade the Russell. Full disclosure, I did not trade the Russell. Um, if someone is trading the Russell, this is the for short out of the gate. Here is the momentum down. Uh, and and look, it takes the short, but um, here it's already showing overdone on the downside. And price comes up. So what does that mean? It means you might want to at least partially grab some profit please excuse me one second i'm sorry just had to quiet down the dogs uh yeah so here is the short and here is the overdone signal so uh what does it tell you maybe you want to take some profit and sure enough the trend reverses and goes right into a buy pull back and here is the buy again enough for a scalp here, here is the overdone signal you might want to take some profit Price comes down. Now, if you have been following my videos of this type of systems and indicators, uh, you guys know I always prefer the first signal. Uh, first one in my book, 
especially in choppy markets, the first signal is the best signal. Following, not so much. Uh, this is the signal, enough for a scalp for sure. So, so far, a short that was good, a long that was good. Move down, here is a signal overdone. Price comes up, here is a pullback and a short, another nice scalp. And how do you know when to stop? Well, obviously, no one knows, right? We don't know what price is going to do. But here is, again, this overdone sig signal here. Uh, you might want to take some profit or flatten out. It tells you. Okay. Um, a move higher. Here is a signal that things are overdone. And this is a losing long signal. It just is. It's a losing long signal. Can't escape it. Um, and um, again, very choppy, not a very ugly market. Uh, first thing in the morning, I mean, take a look at this. This is ugly. Um, it is what it is. Again, I'm not making up charts. I'm not looking for perfect, uh, perfect situations to show you. It's just the market from today. Here is the momentum down. You see this? Momentum down. And here is a nice move down. Overdone. Price comes up. Here is a short and a winning trade. Here, there is no long. And why there is no long, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I don't know why there is no long, uh, but there is no long. And sure enough, price goes lower, over down on a downside, pull back. Here is a short, down we go. And this one is a big move. Now, this is a big move. So how do you stay in a move like this? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, no, really. Uh, so, I mean, there is a short. Uh, overdone, let's say you get out here, overdone, here is another short then, here is another overdone, uh, and these shorts just, just, and again, here is the momentum, continuation move down. Again, it's a combination of a number of things into one complete system, just beautiful. Um, then we get toward lunchtime, of course, I hate lunchtime. Uh, not much here, uh, probably probably a losing trade, I'm guessing. I don't know if this is enough for a scalp. I don't know. Uh, this is enough for a scalp, but just barely. Again, look at the time. I never traded this time. Don't like it. A, a short, that would have been enough for a scalp. Uh, no long, and then uh, no short. This is the end of the day. So another ugly market, and I really wanted to start with the ugly first because i know that everyone loves to show you big directional moves but then there is also this so there is this right so eventually there was a nice directional move but before then and after that uh there was just just a whole bunch of ugly um and even during ugly this system can hold its own even when things are ugly as long as you are satisfied with small uh, small scalps, you got it. Okay, so Russell, I know you all want to see the Nasdaq. Let's wait. Let's wait. <laughs> We're going to see the Nasdaq last. All right. Uh, the YM. The YM. I did trade the YM today using this system. The YM. All right. The YM. <clears throat> Huge move up after the news in the morning. Again, kind of to highlight the momentum up. Here is the momentum up. So no long signal, but if you are looking, let's say, for a long to begin with, if that's what you're looking for, if your daily plan or whatever else in your work tells you look for long signals, this is a confirmation. A momentum long, up we go. Now, um, market is opening, opening up. Pit session is opening up. Uh, we have an overdone on a downside. Obviously, no official long because this is a bearish trend now. Uh, but it tells you overdone on a downside, price comes up. And then a sell. And it's just big move down. Big move down. Uh, full disclosure, I did not trade the move down. Um, I was actually looking for a long setup Um to trade, not the move down. But as I was looking at this, I was saying, wow, to to nail such a signal when, if anything, the market looks super bullish, I was impressed. Uh, it was the momentum down over here and just a uh, nice drop 
I was looking for a long. I got this. I got this. So change of trend, a pullback, and a long. I was out, very happy, and that was it. I don't even know what happened after this. Uh, we can look here. Here is the momentum down to an oversold area here. Price comes up to an overbought. Price comes down, and here is another long right here. This is the official long. So this is where your stop would be. Your stop is below uh, this dotted line <clears throat> over here. This is the stop. So you see a change of trend down, but no short signal. Here is the momentum up. Up we go. Overdone. Comes up. This is toward the end of the day. And a sell. So, yeah, uh, this is a much better looking chart. Um, uh, but not, you know, not, <laughs> not every chart is going to be a beautiful looking chart. Uh, but this is the YM from today. Again, I don't need to show you the settings because I changed nothing. Nothing in any of these charts. I simply loaded up the indicator, the system, I should say. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, how about the S&P, the dreaded S&P? S&P is tough to trade with indicators, I'll tell you. S&P is not easy. S&P is just not easy. Uh, whereas market is opening, and kind of like um, the YM, uh, market is opening, move down, overdone on the downside, price comes up, here is a sell and a big move in S&P to the downside. Again, I was looking for a long, I was not looking for a short, this is what I took. I did trade one S&P, small S&P trade, I did not keep the whole move, I, I did not stay for the whole move. Uh, just a quick S&P trade, um, right here I think when it said overdone I was out. Uh, so if you are out, it's said overdone, let's say like overdone and you're out, but then there is another signal, you might consider taking it a bit aggressive. Again, I prefer the first ones, the first uh, signals, uh, but this one was good. End of the day, a short and price comes down. And um, again, <laughs> the 51.12, which was achieved toward the end of the day, is our uh, target, was our target in the room um, when S&P was trading in the 80s, 5,080s. 5, 5112 was our number. Any case, um, let's get to the NASDAQ. Everyone likes the NASDAQ. I don't know why. NASDAQ, <laughs> NASDAQ, okay, NASDAQ. Okay, so we had the news, of course, and a huge run up after the news, a beast of a move, uh, you know, all, all kinds of momentums, all kinds of signals. Of course, the first one is the best. Huge move up. Market is opening up, and this is the one I took. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Well, I had to stand aside for the YM and the S&P. The NASDAQ just gave it right out of the gate. Pull back and a buy, boom, with the momentum here. Going up, overdone, price comes down. Oops. Now, I was not looking for a short. Uh, this short, either you took a quick scalp or it's a losing trade. Either one. Uh, the long was enough for, again, a nice um, uh, scalp. A short here for a scalp. And, and you see the same thing, right? You know already where price might reverse when you start seeing uh, this kind of signal. Oops, comes up. Uh, look at here, and I wanna show this. That's what I was talking about. I just wanna show this. So the number one enemy, <clears throat> right, of any, almost any indicator system, st strategy, whatever, is CHOP. CHOP is gonna kill like anything. It, it's, it's tough to deal with CHOP. Look how this system deals with CHOP, and again, out of the box settings, I change nothing. Um, overdone on the downs on, on the upside, <laughs> down, overdone on the downside comes up, but no signals, no official signals. With all this chop, no official signals. It goes from being oversold to overbought to oversold. Here is a momentum up. Here is a buy finally, and it's a winning trade for a scalp. 
No short trade, but it tells you overdone on the downside. And if you are looking long, even though it's a downtrend, if you are aggressive and you are looking long to begin with, maybe this lets you know it would be a good buy. If you actually wait for the signal, this is probably a loss. This is, yeah, I just got to say, uh, this is not enough for a scalp. This is a loss. A switches to the short side. Here is the momentum down, followed by the sell signal and a monster. Down we go. Um, overdone on the downside. Here it is. Overdone on the downside. Price comes up. Change of trend. Pullback. Buy. Momentum. Up. Up we go. Uh, this uh, may be enough for a scalp. Maybe. If if not, then, then it's a losing trade. No long signal whatsoever. Momentum down. Uh, short trade. So you see how the momentum almost comes before, well, not almost, in this case, definitely comes before the signal. Uh, you know, again, if you are more of an aggressive trader and you think, well, yeah, we should go lower, then you would take the momentum. If not, you wait for the for the signal. Probably enough for a scalp. I don't know. Uh, probably. Uh, then switches to long. Use the momentum to the long side. Uh, no official long signal, but here you had this. Uh, here we have a sell signal, followed by the momentum short, and down we go. Uh, this buy is a loser for sure. Uh, and notice there is no momentum that accompanies uh, this buy signal. It was a short, not, not a short. This is a momentum saying we're going to go lower, overdone on the downside, um, and switches up. Change of trend, pull back by with the momentum. Up we go. Sell with momentum short, down we go. Big move, big move. Um, no long here, nothing. No momentum long or buy signal, nothing. Switching to long, momentum long and a buy again the first one is the best up we go right over here look at this momentum look at this signal wow uh and then we get into of course lunchtime my least favorite time to trade gets very choppy this long maybe enough for a scalp maybe this short is probably enough for a scalp this long Probably enough. Again, I would not take the second one, especially not during lunchtime when things get choppy. But you see the consistency here, right? I mean, just the the over the overdone signals along with the momentum signals. Here's a momentum signal. Here's a buy together with a momentum signal. That's just a a beast of a move. Um, nothing here. This short, obviously, a losing trade. Not sure about this long. Also, probably another winning trade. Again, lunchtime. Um, nothing happening until there is a long here. Um, the momentum long along with the buy, momentum buy. So plenty. There was plenty here. Again, um, you know, just as a side thing, uh, don't trade the full day in your trading plan. There must be a target for the day, a goal for the day. The last thing you want to do is to just keep on trading. It's um, That's why I say you can do better than the backtesting results. Because the fact is, you don't need to trade, especially during lunchtime. Like, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what the answer is, but... I bet you that the results between, let's say, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern are much worse than results between 9.30 and 10.30 Eastern, as an example. I think, you know, like it would be interesting to run that. Um, just a big, big move to the upside, followed by a big, big move to the downside, and this is the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, so so this is... The Nasdaq. Um, 
All right, I think I'm ready to show you the deal, and then we're gonna get to your questions a bit later. So, so this is an expensive system. Um, this one is a twenty-five hundred dollar system, but since you are here and you're nice enough to listen to me for an hour, <laughs> uh, the first fifteen licenses will go for seven ninety-six. The next twenty-four eight ninety-six. There are codes over here for the amazing two hundred dollar voucher. So just just take a screenshot of whatever you need to do here. Uh, this is <laughs> this is an amazing deal. You, you will not see this even when they're running like the fifty percent off uh, deals. Uh, you're not going to see this price uh, for this system um, on any of their sales. So. Um, until the next time uh, I do a webinar, which I don't know when when it's going to happen, they don't tell me. Uh, but uh, this this price is pretty special. Uh, again, uh, what this is is a combination of a number of systems into one, and not only like a number of systems. Uh, the best features, the best features of a number of systems into one. Um, let me see if I can kind of try to pinpoint some questions that I'm always asked. Does it only work on King Renko bar? No, it works on Ninja Renko fine. Um, I just find from my experience, again, this is just my experience, the King Renko bars tend to be more precise. But I did try it on, on a regular um, Ninja Renko, and it still did fine, almost as good, almost as good. Now, you know, if trading is, is your business, trading is my business, if trading is your business, uh, you should not be satisfied with almost as good, my opinion, okay? that That's just me, especially if they give you a $200 voucher here, which my understanding is you can use it toward anything, Um I think I, I think it's a good investment, uh, the King Renko. I was a bit skeptical when I was first using it a while back, but the more the more I looked at it, uh, the more I realized uh, that it's just overall more precise. Um, and even if it's a little bit of a difference, positive difference over time, it adds up to a lot, way more than than what they're asking for the bar, for this bar. Yes, especially with a two hundred dollar voucher. Another question I'm often asked: Can this be automated using a third party automating software? The answer is yes, 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 yes. It could be. You could automate these signals, which is absolutely amazing, uh, especially with an, uh, a market like the Nasdaq that uh, moves kind of fast at times. Um, all right, uh, do me a favor. I'm just going to get a quick glass of water, uh, and then I'm going to get to your questions. So uh, type your questions, and I'm going to get to you in just one minute. Thank you. Uh, does it work with pre-market? Yes, it does. I believe I showed it. Let's take a look. I definitely showed it on the NASDAQ. Um, does it work uh, with blood? But let me I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to just tell you yes and then not show it. Um, so this is pre-market. So this is 9.30, right? This is pre-market, but this is what? This is uh, the YM. So actually, I don't know if the YM is a good example. No, I, I'll, I'll show you a better example. Hold on. I'll show you a better example. I think the NASDAQ was a better example. As long as there is movement, uh, that's all it needs. It needs movement. So if there is movement in a pre-market, I myself am not necessarily a huge fan, but um, uh, those of you who are uh, in, in Europe, in Asia, if I can get there, I'm going to see here. So this is 9.30 Eastern, right? This is bid session open. Uh, and here is the NASDAQ in a pre-market. So yes, uh, and uh, can it work with Bloodhound? Um, I want to say yes. I I'm not familiar with with Bloodhound as much as I am with another company, uh, 
But I want to say, yes, it can work with, with Bloodhound. How fast does the signal print? It prints at the end of the bar, when the bar closes. So when this bar closes, this big bar, when this closes, that's when the signal appears. And that's why you need automation. If you really want to catch it, things move fast. I mean, take a look at this time, right? Things move fast. Without automation, you probably would not be able to catch it. I mean, uh, and definitely also when the market first opens, right? It was the open. Again, this just happens fast. Um, I'm not sure if you could catch it um, without automation. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the signal prints when the bar closes. Right, so I'm I'm just scrolling. So yeah, uh, how do I know about the brick size? I don't know. Um, and in the case of oil, if you remember, I probably picked the wrong size for today. Um, it has to do with sitting down the evening before, looking at the previous day, maybe the previous couple of days, and seeing what brick size works best, gives the most accurate signals. Um, I don't... No, it, it, it's nothing that you know. It's something that you need to experiment with. And even when you do, like, again, if I can just bring uh, crude oil just to show you that I probably did not pick the right size for today um, because this is very ugly. Now, maybe it would have been ugly even with a different brick size. I don't know. Uh, but that's what I picked for today. Um, and while in the pre-market, we just have to talk about the pre-market, right? In the pre-market, it was okay. In a pre-market, you see it was fine. Um, once the market opened, it was just ugly. Um, but that's what it is, right? So so you try your best, but no one knows ahead of time uh, which brick size uh, would be best. Okay, as far as comparing this to um, other systems that Ninzaco has, um, like I said, I, I think this is a combination of the best features of a number of systems, but it's hard to compare it directly to to, an, to another system. Uh, it is different than any other one, including Cosmic. It's not exactly like Cosmic, but if you're looking at it, I can see how some features might remind you um, of Cosmic, but it, it's different. It's definitely different than uh, Zone GPT. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, th these are just uh, different systems. Uh, so I, I would not know exactly um, how to compare them. I just know that with other systems, as I've said before, I always had to change settings. And again, uh, <laughs> as ugly as this looks, this is without... Uh, changing any settings and even in this ugly chart they're still winning trades without changing any settings so uh, so that's i think kind of speaks for itself okay so as far as uh, trying to show you a chart where uh it did not do well crude is like i said is, is one of the worst charts that i had for today um again and understand i don't i don't cherry pick right i, I show you today's uh, trading and this is as ugly as I've seen it. <laughs> it uh, this uh, and the Russell, I, I can show you. You know, if you want to see, I'm not hiding. Uh, you know, uh, bad charts. Um, this is the Russell. Um, as I've showed you, you know, uh, got some winning trades, uh, but just you know, it, it's the price action that did not allow for any uh, big runs. But if you stuck to the idea of just taking the first signal the first signal and be happy with uh, modest targets, uh, you did fine. But again, I'm, I'm not hiding losing trades. This is a losing long trade right over here. It just is. It's a losing trade. Um, uh, this here is a win. This is a winning trade. There was no long. Uh, and then, of course, a very big short trade. But here again, uh, probably a losing trade. Uh, this should be probably a winning trade. This is a winning trade, end of the day. Um, so every day, if you're trading multiple markets, 
you're going to have some charts that are just ugly. Unless you do what other companies do, which I do not do, is change things for things to look beautiful always. That's not reality. I am running a live room. So everything I do is in the open. I'm not hiding behind anything. Um, so if it happens to be an ugly few hours in the market, then it's ugly a uh, few hours. It, it's going to happen. Uh, but the point is, if you have a system that can take advantage of at least minor price movement, uh, even when things are less than perfect, then I think you have something good. Uh, let's see. Uh, so as far as what other time frames, um, I only tried it on Ninza Renko and uh, King Renko, and I said King Renko I find to have better results. I did not try it on anything else. I did not try it on tick charts or range charts. Um, you want to try it? I mean, let's give it a shot. I mean, I, I don't you know. Again, uh, that's something you would need to figure out ahead of time. For example, if you're going to go for a range, what kind of a range size? So let's pick one randomly and, and see. I don't know. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Range, uh, maybe range 10. Okay, so this is range 10. Um, some longs. Uh, still caught the short. Um, this would have been probably a losing long. So again, um, this is a winning long. Probably a winning short. Uh, but you see how it's not as smooth. It's not, even though Russell was not great this morning on the King Renko either, uh, but this is, I think, worse. Uh, so, uh, again, um, after doing many hours of, of watching, um, I came to the conclusion that uh, King Renko is just uh, the better, uh, the, the better uh, uh, time frame. Let's move this so people can see again the deal. Asking about the deal. Okay. Okay, one minute. So the person who asked about, was it talking about Markers Plus? The answer is yes. Yes, that's um, that's the one. Solo Wind, again, it's difficult for me to compare it. I, I, I know what you mean by Solo Wind. Solo Wind also has a trend and a pullback. This system has a different kind of pullback. Um, overall, I find it to be more precise. And, and there was nothing wrong with solo wind. Solo wind is solid. Um, this is just a bit different. Okay, so here is a question that I want to clarify. This system, Thunderzilla, does not, does not come with automation. Its signals could be automated by a third party software. Um, Possibly, I'm almost sure about Bloodhound and definitely Markers. Um, but the system itself, Thunderzilla, by itself cannot be automated. It's, it's an indicator that produces signals. Those signals could be automated by a third party, but Thunderzilla does not automate those. Okay, first 45 minutes of ES. Uh, where is my ES? Done. Here is yes. Let's drag it. First 45 minutes, you said. Okay. First 45 minutes. Market open. Here is first 45 minutes. So first 45 minutes, you had a sell signal. Well, you had two, but you know, I would only take one. Uh, this is first 45 minutes. A big sell, followed by a huge buy. So that's 45 minutes of ES. Yes, uh, there is a manual that comes, a PDF that comes with the software uh, where you can read things. But as always, I say, I never look at the PDF. Um, you need to sit down and just experiment with it. But there is not even that much to experiment with. Again, uh, these are out-of-the-box settings. I simply loaded the chart. Uh, that's it. I, I loaded the system on the chart. I changed 
nothing. So the only thing you might want to play with is the brick size. Obviously, S&P would be slightly different than the NASDAQ, right? Uh, gold might be slightly different than the YM. Um, so different markets do require different brick sizes, I'm sure. Uh, that's something you just have to experiment with. But to, but to answer your question, uh, yes, yes. Um, there is a PDF manual that comes uh, with this tool. Yeah, so as far as stop loss, uh, stop loss, now, obviously, you can have your own stop loss. As far as the system is concerned, it is here. Now, this could be adjusted. So if you start playing with settings, you could adjust this. Again, I wanted to come in here without changing anything. So I didn't change a thing. This is just how it is. Uh, you could adjust this line, which is the stop loss um, line. Um, as far as what is my ATM, uh, I simply, again, I would move my stop down below here. S&P, I would look to target 8 to 12 ticks. I am modest, scalping, quick, 8 to 12 ticks, and done. Okay, if you try to purchase and you have an order failed, make sure you have the um, coupon correct. Uh, it could be a problem on their end. Now, they will... I guarantee you they will take care of you. If you email their support and say you tried to purchase, the order failed, uh, I can practically guarantee you they're going to give you the price. Okay, uh, Nenzuko is a very honest company. They're not here to give you a hard time. Uh, one, one of the first webinars I've done, their website crashed. <laughs> so, so many people went there and they took care of everyone. So uh, try again. If your order doesn't go through, if you're not getting this price, I mean, as, assuming you're one of the first uh, 15, if if you're not getting uh, this price or at worst uh, this price, email their support and, and they will definitely take care of you. Uh, a one-minute chart. So I, I did not try a time chart. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, do, do you want to try a time chart? I, I don't know. I, I did not try... A time chart, but we can we can play around. I mean, uh, here is a one minute. So obviously, a time chart is very different. Maybe for time charts you do need to adjust, but it's still very clear as far as the trend and the momentum. That's very clear. Uh, but again, um, okay. So there are some great buys in here, but I don't think anything is as accurate as the King Renko. It just um, sells. This is, yeah, I don't think the one minute is as effective as the King Renko. Uh, just, just my opinion. I'm not sure how to answer if this could be automated with Ninja Trader. I don't know, I guess. I not only did I not try, but I would not know how to try. <laughs> um, I don't know how to work stuff like that. If you if you're proficient at it, maybe you know how to automate it directly through NT strategy builder, you said. Okay. Um I, I don't know. Uh, that's that's the that's the real answer. Solo wind. Okay, so um this is not a solo wind webinar. And uh I to give you settings for solo wind, I really cannot do it right now. I don't have a solo wind on. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so change settings for NQ 241, 241. So data series. Let's go back to King Renko. Uh 241. Okay. Let's play around. 24, 1. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Well, uh, 24, 1. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I don't know if 24, 1. Well, there was a buy, I guess. There was a sell. But, to, I mean, 1 on a NASDAQ. And uh, very, uh, very ugly. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Nope, there's nothing here. Uh, okay, I guess, no. 
by uh, look you know it's if that's what you're into uh sure uh to me i would not be able to really understand what is happening here yeah okay this is 12 24 one not many uh, signals at least again with the settings that are out of the box if you can play around with the settings maybe you'll get something here uh but uh no i think i think i had the uh, the better setup there okay let's look at something else uh does it work for forex i'm sure it does i just don't have a forex chart um open but i'm sure i'm sure it would work for forex as far as brick sizes uh no i think they had it somewhere here we go so uh ninja renko king renko that's what they recommend and and i'm sure it's in the pdf as well um yeah so again uh for this one ninja renko is fine um i found king renko to be slightly better Six scalping on the NQ, anywhere from 12 to 20. Scalping, scalping, right? So nice, quick, kind of grabbing it, 12 to 20. Uh, recording. I'm sure the recording will be available by Ninzico, uh, probably on their YouTube channel, and probably even as early as tomorrow. Um, yeah. Let me just put the deal here once again before we uh, end things. Uh, no, no signals repaint. The signals that you see are the signals that you see. When you refresh the chart, they do not change. Um, that would be then impossible to really test it. Uh, no. So the signals that you see are the signals, signals that were there a few hours ago and will be there in two weeks from now. Uh, they do not change. Let me see if there's anything else. <laughs> uh, partnership in Brazil. Well, uh, you know, get in touch with Ninzico. I am just a guy who trades. I just trade. That's all I do. Um, uh, whatever policies Ninzico has is, is up to Ninzico. So um, I don't know. I don't think I want to keep on changing, you know, different uh, bar types. You know, uh, the, the point is, it's something not only could you, but you should do um, on your own. I'm not saying the bar... The brick size I had is the perfect brick size. I don't know if 12.4 is better than 16.4 or 24 or 18.3. You know, that, that's something you can do on your own. You try it out. Um, you see, and that's also something that, depending on volatility, probably needs to be adjusted every now and then. Nothing about trading is always forever. You know, you, you need to figure out what worked lately and chances are if something looked good yesterday it will look good tomorrow chances are guaranteed no but chances are uh the probability is with it being very close to when two days are consecutive days but maybe if you look at a year ago it would be a very different brick size um that would be most appropriate so uh that is something that that changes um, in any case, let me just, again, if something I did not answer, I do need to finish this up. Uh, let me just kind of put uh, my info. In, in case I did not answer something, this is my email. Uh, email me directly, and I will answer um, all your questions. Uh, this is my website, algodaytrader.net, if you want to join the Discord group and the live room. Um and I think uh, this is it. So I want to thank all of you for spending uh, this past uh, hour plus with me. I, I truly appreciate it. I hope you got uh, something out of it. Um, and um, I will definitely hope to see you next time. Email me again with any questions. Thank you.